health and social welfare. Now, some members of the People's Democratic Party in the House of Representatives are insisting the acting national chairman of the party, Umar Damagum, resigns from office. The lawmakers also threatened to quit the party if the political crisis in River State is not resolved. National Assembly correspondent Jokadisa has details. The crisis in River State between the governor, Siminalai Fubara, and his predecessor, Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Yesombwiki, is taking a new turn. I had the National Executive Council meeting of the PDP. About 60 members of the party in the House of Representatives are pointing fingers at the acting national chairman, Omar Damagu, for alleged anti-party activities. They are also not at ease at the recent tenure extension accorded outgoing council chairman in River State. Following the removal of Senator Iyachua Ayu as national chairman of our party, an assumption of office by Omar Iliya Damagun, who was elected as deputy national chairman to act in his state. The party has only known misfortune and abdicated its responsibility as the leading opposition party in the country. There is always a time for governance and also a time for politics. This is the time for governance and not politics. On the streets of River State, the River's people are united behind the governor that they elected. The lawmakers threatened to quote the party over alleged manipulation of the caretaker committee list in River State. The concerned legislators say it is high time the party's top seat was occupied by the North Central Zone, even as the alleged plot by the party's hierarchy to pave way for the planned impeachment of the governor. Chairmen whose tenure are about to expire in Rivers were elected by the people of River State. They were not elected by the courts. And they were elected on terms and they, sworn, they were sworn in with a definite term lag, which is three years, I'm sure. So please, we are begging the judiciary not to cause chaos in rivers. The group wants the party's National Executive Committee to set up a panel that will probe all continuing acts of anti-party activities from the world to the state levels from 2023 and met out appropriate sanctions to anyone found culpable. The People's Democratic Party has more than 100 members in the 10th House of Representatives who are now pitched against one another over the political logjam in River State. With the minority leader of the House conspicuously absent at the news conference, the PDP is certainly divided against itself as keen watchers look on to see what happens to the party in the months and days ahead. Jokia TVC News, Abuja.